Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Abhishek and in this one we are talking about bash functions. The first one is grep open which is alias to vg. As you can see these are the new aliases. But yeah, what vg lets me do is simply search for uh, a particular term and then it will show me all of those files that have that particular term in them and not only that it will also highlight them once those files are opened up in NeoVim so this is the NeoVim uh, nvim 2 k repo I'm just using this for the demo but let's say if I did vg which auto expands to grep open and I did something like um, let's say nerdy right a plugin name so as you can see it says that these three files have references so let's open list.lua um, and if i hit n you can see that it shows that i have the I have three occurrences of nerdy you can see it on the top right as well but yeah that's essentially all it does i can go to different files it will show me everywhere that particular term is present if there were more it would show me more so like let's say if i did something pretty common like vim right you can see it's all over the place so this is something that you can do from within uh, new vim or any other editor as well but sometimes it's really handy to be able to do that from here so that's grep open or vg alias uh, next is review changes um, and what this lets me do is it will show me all of the changed files that have been committed on this particular branch but are not present on main right so for example uh, let me open dot to k here as well so I had, I think I have this particular, yeah, I have this uh, dummy branch. Let me show you the command first of all. So it's vr. It will show you all of the files that have uh, been committed, that have changes. Um, and it will also show you the diff on the right. So that's vr or uh, review changes. Let me go back to main. So as you can see vr is alias to review changes over here then we have something very similar changed files which does exactly the same thing but instead of showing things that have already been committed uh, this will show you all of the staged and unstaged files um, so review changes as the name suggests is useful when i'm doing code reviews right i just uh, switch to the branch that i'm reviewing when i'm doing pr reviews and then i just run review changes and it opens up that list with all of the files that have been modified and i could just go to each of them look at the diff and then if i want i could also open them on new them and uh, make some quick uh, changes if needed uh, review if needed and all that so essentially to uh, decrease my time in the browser and change files is essentially the same thing but it's more useful when i'm doing development locally so like let's say i open the aliases file and i delete this particular alias right and if i hit save now um, i could either go to lazy gate and then edit the file from here or I could do this and then look at the file and then open it or I could just do this vc change files hit enter it takes me there right that's the purpose of change files function and even if I stage it if I still run vc it would show me the changes so that's change files something that I use quite a lot then these two uh, for like PRs that you just know the number of but you want to quickly take a look 
right? Uh, I, I use this mostly for PRs that have been merged with PR diff. I have it alias to um, GHPD. So let me show you what that looks like. So let's say I do GHPD, PR diff, and let's say I want to see the PR diff for the first PR or PR number one. I do PR diff one, and you can see these are all of the diff or all of the files changed in the first PR on NVIM 2K, right? Similarly, if I want to see the PR files, I do GHPF and then I pass in the PR number. And as you can see, it does the exact same thing. But now instead of showing the diff, it will show me the list of files and their current preview. What do they look like in their current state? Uh, and if a file, let's say, has been deleted or renamed, those file names would be picked up but since there's nothing to preview it will just show an empty file on the right but yeah init.lua still exists and you can see the current preview i think those were all oh this one more binary edit i think this already existed um i just renamed it to binary edit and by the way these are the git aliases hpdpf but let's quickly take a look at binary edit. So if I have a binary, uh, which I quickly want to edit, right? So I do VB, it expands to binary edit and make repo is a utility script that I use to quickly create GitHub repos. So I do binary edit and make repo, and then it immediately takes me to the actual binary, right? So you could do this with anything. So I could even do something like NVIM, but since it's uh, executable, I can't really do anything. But if you are working with like a, something like a script uh, and it is present in your path, you could use VB or binary edit to do that. So yeah, there, there's a couple more functions, but I had went through them in a previous video. I'll be linking the functions.sh file in the description so if you are interested pick one of these up try it out and if you have any more recommendations uh, feel free to drop a comment or open up an issue on the dots to care repo and yeah that was it and again thanks for watching hit the subscribe button if you wanna stay updated and as always a like and comment is appreciated all right thank you